I drove the Yaris and that was the first small kind of slightly powerful car I've driven in a long time. Just haven't driven anything like that in a long time. And I had a wicked time just having a small car in town mm. with a manual gearbox that's kind of fun. But when I started to push it faster, at the speeds I'm driving on roads, general public roads, it just, it just had so much grip and so much composure that no matter what you did within reason, you just weren't really feeling any sort of rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive balance or no, no, whatever mode, sport mode, 60, 40 or whatever, 70, 30. Just no, there was just no opposite lock coming out of that car. Drive the Fiesta, what the hell? <laughs> Things coming around. <laughs> I, do you know, I did the video. I did, I, did, I did a comparison of those two cars for piston heads, mm. um, and I, I, I upset some people because I said, I said what you just said. I said more of the time you'll have more fun in the Fiesta. I honestly think I, I could really get stuck into this now. Um, the Yaris. Here we are. <laughs> I, no, I, <laughs> I love the concept of that Yaris. I love that they did it at all because. You know, given that the WRC regs changed, they didn't have to, but they did it because they thought it was cool. I love that they, they took that attitude. Um, I think it's brilliant fun to drive. I think it's super capable. Do you know what? I'm going to go back a little bit. I think it's super capable. I think it's fun to drive, but it falls into the same trick that something like a nine, same trap that something like a 911 turbo does or, you know, a modern supercar that's got tons of grip, tons of power, that's effortless to drive yeah. really quickly. And, forward and drive. that's that. Yeah, yeah. And that's that. It goads you into driving ever harder, ever faster. And so you find yourself driving down a road and you go through a couple of corners. You go, OK, well, I didn't feel much there. It just felt planted. Didn't feel it tried to adjust its line on the way out under power. So I'll go harder. I'll brake later. I'll chuck it in a bit more, stand on the power earlier. And then all of a sudden, Without meaning to, you're driving this car flat out, you're pinned everywhere, throwing gears at it, doing everything you can to try and make it come alive. And then maybe it just starts giving a little something back. But by that point, in a car as capable as that and as fast down a road as that, you're well beyond the speed limit already. Well beyond, even a little, little Yaris. Yeah. Um, so, it, it, you know, it's nothing to like the same extent as a 911 Turbo, but for me and the way that I drive on the road, it's more of that school than the Fiesta, which I just, I honestly think that car is more fun to drive on the road than certain Lamborghinis, um, certain Ferraris. Honestly, a lot of cars. there's just a lot of cars. There's just, it's got this amazing flow about it. The, just the, when you turn it into a corner, you, th this is how you drive a Fiesta ST around a 90 degree right, okay? You come up, stand on the brakes, turn into the corner like that, feel the car come around, you've straightened the steering wheel, the car's sweeping around behind you, and then you've pinned the throttle, and you've, you've driven away from the corner. That's all you do to turn it into a corner, because it's so lively and mobile and agile. You can enjoy that even just driving around a roundabout in town. You're just, just feeling that balance yeah. and how crisp and pin, pin sharp the steering is. That rotation on the way into it. I just, I loved it. I, I got quite a lot of stick, I think, in the comments in, uh, on that video. And I had a load of people um, sending me messages on WhatsApp saying, so, sorry, on social media saying, you're an idiot, you've got this all wrong. Um, but I, I stand by it, right, because... If you're, if you're in a car like a Yaris or something like that that goads you into going faster and faster and faster, um, the reality is, if you owned one of those cars, you'd be driving it in that kind of manner 1% of the time, maybe. Maybe mm. 2 3% of the time, but hardly anything. Whereas in the Fiesta, you're having fun driving it 20 30% of the time. Yeah. And just that's, and therefore, how much more fun you have over an ownership experience. It's, for me, it's night and day. I just loved it. A few people, I, I think a couple of guys who own GI Yaris's, they came back to me. Someone had, up, had posted a video on YouTube or on Instagram. They're in continental Europe somewhere driving a GI Yaris. And you see them come up to a hairpin, pull the handbrake, do a huge skid around the handbrake under power, sorry, around the corner under power and drive away. And it looks great, fair play, you know, that, that does look like a lot of fun. And he said um, to me, 
still less fun than a Fiesta ST. And I, I, th I went back and said, go and do that again without pulling on the handbrake because it won't do that. It'll just be locked down yeah. and away you go. And the thing is, he said, but why wouldn't I pull on the handbrake? It's there. And it's like, fair enough. If you're prepared to do essentially handbrake turns on the road to get your kicks, you know, yeah. knock yourself out. But I'm, I'm increasingly less prepared to do stupid stuff like that on the road um, just, to, just to have my fun. And so if I can drive a car that allows me to have the time of my life without doing something, anything daft, actually, I'm all for it. And that Fiesta for me is, is the one. Yeah. And, and I, 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 I looked at, I considered changing my car for one of those just because it's brilliant. I loved it. 